In this video, I will show you how to read numbers sent from the Arduino's serial monitor. This is a real trap for beginners and the issue often comes up in beginner forums. The reason for this difficulty is that information sent between the PC and the Arduino, such as this hello world string, is always transmitted as a sequence of ASCII codes, ASCII being the American standard code for information interchange. So for example, whenever you write 685 and click send, the PC actually sends the Arduino a series of three distinct ASCII codes. This is the ASCII code for the character of 6, this is the code for 8, and this is the code for 5. How can we use this information to interpret incoming numbers in the Arduino? First, let's take a look at an ASCII table. Here's a useful website called ASCIItable.com, and in it we find this useful ASCII table. On the left we have the indexes of the characters, and in red the characters themselves. These are non-printables, here are some punctuation marks, digits, capital letters, etc. Now, if we go to 54, this index will see that this is the 6 character that I tapped in earlier. Now you'll notice that the characters here of, of the digits are consecutive, and their numbers are consecutive also, so it's 48, 49, 50, 51. This means that if we subtract 48 from each number that we get in the Arduino, we can actually decipher the digit that the user intended to send. So back here, I change this line b equals serial dot read to b equals serial dot read minus 48. Upload that into the Arduino. And you'll see that if I type 685, I get the 6, the 8, and the 5. Now this is great for deciphering individual digits, but what happens if I want to decipher the number as a whole? The programming approach for this kind of problem is usually to take some global variable, such as this long i, give it an initial value of 0, and for each and every dig digit that comes along, I do this. I take i, multiply it by 10, and add the new digit. I'll add some output lines so you can see how this runs in uh, real time, so to speak. Put here i equals, and output i itself. Let's upload that. And if I write 685, you'll see that i is first 0 multiplied by 10 plus 6, then 6 multiplied by 10 plus 8, then 68 multiplied by 10 plus 5. So we have the number here. But uh, this is a bit problematic because how do you know where to stop? Instead of doing this, I suggest a new method that's built in into the Arduino's serial object itself. This method is called serial.parseInt and it actually does exactly what we did here, only implicitly. I just write i equals serial.parseInt it doesn't take any parameters and if I run that you'll see that when I write my uh, number here I get it as a complete number here. Now you'll also notice that it took some time between my clicking or pressing enter and the appearance of the number. This is because parseInt guesses when my number is, is done by waiting a uh, predetermined um, timeout period. The default period is uh, 1000 milliseconds which is uh, quite a lot. So we can change that and get the number faster by uh, writing here in setup we we'll write serial dot set timeout. Now here we should put the the number of uh, milliseconds but how long should we wait? Uh, in this baud rate of 9600 each character takes about one millisecond to send. So if we wait, let's give it some uh, confidence uh, interval of 10 milliseconds, this would be quite enough. If you are using a, a slower baud rate, of course you should increase this and vice versa. Let me show you just uh, how it works. Here we go, 2016, and it appears almost instantly. Now you should be careful because parsint can easily fall trap to the known principle of uh, garbage in garbage out, meaning if you write uh, all sorts of garbage here but some of it looks like a number, it reads this 
as uh, it it extracts actually the numbers from these from this uh, meaningless flow of uh, characters, and you may not want that. So either uh, trust the user to be to be clever or be very clever with your own code and don't use parsint. But uh, again, this is a simple and straightforward forward way to get what you need uh, in terms of getting whole numbers from the user. That's it for now. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, click like and subscribe and do whatever you do on social networks. And I'll see you next time.